Well, on the bright side, there's no reason to not practice guitar right now. So we're going to do something kind of happy that might take you a little bit of time to do in your downtime. It's going to sound like this. So let there be no doubt, 2020 is the year of the key of D. All you people who tried to tell me it was B flat, you're definitely got a little egg on your face right now. Key of D all the way. The only other option is maybe like double drop C sharp standard for how things have gone this year so far. But we're doing this in the key of D. This is actually a lot easier than it may seem. And there's a lot of different things you can practice at once, right? So we have D major chord. I'm gonna skip how you play a D major chord because presumably you already know this. If not, find a different video. <laughs> but we've got this D major chord and we're gonna play this D major chord in different spots, right? Right here is gonna be this guy right here, seventh fret on the D, G, and B strings, right? Now again, this is kind of conceptually the same as the bar chord D major, but without the lower root. So we've got this. And the reason we wanna do this is because I wanna focus a lot on double stops and going from this spot into this spot. Prime position, pole position. This is where we want to be. Everybody end up right here, right? Boom, boom. Okay, so first things first, get that down. Be able to go from this chord to this chord and then get, well, make sure it's your pointer finger, okay? Because once we're here, we can do a lot of things. Now the thing I was doing in the example is gonna sound like this. Alright, so when we line our pointer finger up like this, this opens up a lot of double stop possibilities. Double stop where you play two notes at the same time. Okay, now I'm doing this finger style. You can do this with a pick. Same deal. Again, this is my bass. My pointer finger is holding down D, G, and B. My ring finger is going to hammer on the D string. 7 to 9. Okay, and I'm going to hit the D and the G string at the same time. And then I'm going to hit the G and the B string at the same time. Okay? So, one thing that you can just drill on, on your own. And then the more you do it, the better tone you'll get. It might kind of be buzzy at first, but don't worry about it. You got all the time in the world. And after that, we got this little run. Now, this is technically kind of like a pentatonic scale run. If you've seen some of the previous videos on the key of D, you'll know the B minor pentatonic. This is the spot du jour right here. So again, seven, 10, seven, nine. I'm not even gonna finish that because you know pentatonic already. We're getting to the meat of it, right? So we got this double stop thing. Now what I'm doing here, I'm taking this shape. Okay, ring finger on the ninth fret of the G string, middle finger, eighth fret of the B string. Great thing about this guy is we can slide it up into the next position. Okay, so now I've got 10B and 11G. All right, so just drill that. All right, eventually we're gonna go back to this, but I wanna climb back into this position. Oh, what's that? Keep your middle finger there. Replace your ring finger with your pointer finger. All right, so this is just really kind of like a, a very not clean way to transition. Right there, so ring finger up to your pointer finger, then back into that main position. All right, so we can kind of go in and out of this shape. And again, it's not about just doing this double stop, it's about really whatever kind of way you want to experiment with this, but this is just kind of like one framework into getting it. You can do a lot of stuff with it, that's why it's good to know the scales and how they link together, but this is kind of a good way to jump in between all of them back and forth. Now, this would be considered a phrase in D major, right? Again, we wanna keep this peppy. We wanna keep this jumpy sounding good because nothing's wrong. Just have a good time. Everything's fine. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm having a good time. <laughs> so after this, we're gonna end the phrase where we started on this D because it kind of resolves there, right? So we have D major, the double stop into the slide, 
And then that last double stop you'll see is B string and G string. Now I'm hammer on, hammering on the ninth fret of the G string. Back. Okay? And that right there is going to be kind of like the D major thing that resolves it. So... Alright, so that'll just be like the first phrase. We can do something kind of similar with the next one. I like that right there. Very kind of John Mayer here. We're all going for John Mayer vibes these days. 2009 John Mayer vibes. That's what I'm choosing to think of right now in my entire life. <laughs> this right here, this is a D chord. The very one we started with, 12 frets higher, the next octave. Okay, but if we just grab the 14th fret of the G string and the 15th fret of the B string, and put a little razzmatazz on it. Mm, gosh, that feels so good right now, doesn't it? There it is, right? So we go from the core open D shape into the double stop, into the slide, but now we're gonna take the slide, we're gonna jump it. And it still is the ending of a phrase because it's a different chord voicing. Well, it's a different octave of that same chord voicing, kind of. Just on a different part of the neck. So it seems like we're going all over the place, right? All the stuff is movable. We can do it in the key of E if we want. Just move everything a little higher. And then again, we could end it here, okay? So we're really kind of opening up pathways to different things. And it all starts with the beautiful key of 2020, the key of D, right? So, in recap, one thing you might want to practice is jumping from chord voicings and seeing the kind of little single note or double stop things you can do along the way. And the chord voicings that we're using in this example are open D, the bottom shape of this bar chord D on the seventh fret, eventually making our way here. That could be good practice in and of itself. One, two, three, okay? In between, there's always opportunities just to kind of like do stuff on the way. All right, so if you're just noodling around, perfect time to noodle right now, everybody. Make sure we know that this pentatonic spot goes with that voicing, which is great because we can do all these cool sliding hammer-on type things, all right? Great way to occupy your time, people. Definitely a great way to occupy your time. And then eventually end up where we're always meant to go, from here to the finish line. So, that's all I have for you today to practice on. Probably gonna be uploading a video every day because I have really nothing better to do at this point. So any videos you guys wanna see, let me know in the comment section, Instagram, Twitter, my TikTok page, <laughs> or the website. A lot of ways to get in contact with me. I'll probably go in live too. Seems like going live is the, uh, the thing to do these days. So again, let's, uh, let's keep the community strong right now because uh, music is definitely that binding force that will get us through the darkness. So any questions you have, let me know. Otherwise, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.